Good morning, everyone. So I just got done giving the keys to my tenants. Um, I helped one of my clients lease their rental and I helped them find some tenants. So I just gave the keys to the tenants. So now they have their new rental home, which is very exciting. And my clients have their first investment property. This is why you guys always buy real estate, no matter what buy it live in it for about two years so you don't get taxed so much and after living in it for two years just rent it out to a great family to great tenants to whoever you want actually it's your choice um always buy real estate and while you're renting out that home use that rent money that you're getting for your new mortgage you know you get me makes sense Um, it is really that easy the way I explained it the first step purchasing your first home is most likely going to be the hardest step it's always the first time it's always purchasing your first home where people are nervous scared they don't know if they should do it they have thousands of questions um, but once you get through that first step of buying your first house everything else is easy it just comes easy you know what to expect you're more aware of what's going to take place you're already ready um, so just get through that first purchase of a home and then all the other the second the third the fourth it'll all come easy I have other clients who are investors and they don't really they don't really call themselves investors because they started with their first home and then they ended up buying another home and renting their other one out because they just needed a bigger home and then now they have about what four or five properties without even realizing that they are investors but they just wanted to buy homes and during that time they gave other people a chance to have a home so think of it that way like just purchase your first property and then rent it out and get an income from that you know I feel I'm just literally I'm speechless like I can't say it I am speechless I'm definitely speechless it's nothing bad it's something great it's amazing so I am on my way to Walgreens right now you guys because I am five days late on my period five days I have never ever in my life been late on my period or even thought that I was pregnant ever <laughs> like yeah I just never thought about it ever um, I've never really had scares and I've never had scares because I have been on birth control for a really long time so that's why I always knew I wasn't pregnant like nope um let me just park right now because this is a lot to take in so it's not that me and Mike were not trying obviously like it's not that we weren't but um, before we decided that we actually want to have kids and like to actually start trying um, we prayed about it a lot like 
we prayed a lot and um, we just asked God, you know, to show us some signs if this is for us, if we should start having kids now, if we should start having a family. And I think I was just like back and forth. Like I always was like, we're so busy with work. We just started our new brokerage. And I'm just like, dude, like, do we even have time for all of that? Like, who's going to babysit? Like, will I be able to work and take care of a child? And the good thing is that me and Mike are both in real estate. And I could work from home most of the time, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, so I just had all these thoughts going through my head. And so Mike was like, I think we just need to pray about it and like ask God to like show us. So we did and we were watching church online. Um, it was like a revival series that they're having and you know, we were praying through that time and I feel like every time they would share a message, it was about like pregnancy, it was about starting a family, it was about like descendants and gifts. Like God's greatest gift is having children and having a family and you know, um, starting the next generation and I'm like dang okay like everything we'd watch together was about that and never before was it ever like that so those were like little signs and then we'd pray like okay God like if this is for us if um, you know if you want us to have a family like give us like a dream or something and like literally he gave us dreams like it was just like non-stop so it was definitely very clear that this is definitely what God wanted for us I'm gonna cry because this is freaking insane you guys I feel like I just waited so long I waited a very long time um I just was never sure and um yeah so whew. So we finally were like, okay, like this is it. Like if I think we should definitely let it be, you know? And so we did, we just let it be, started trying. Um, Mike was just like extremely excited when I was like, okay, let's just do it. You know, like let God have his plan for us. Um, so we did and yes I'm so excited I don't know why I'm crying well obviously I know why I'm crying but oh my gosh I hate crying in public okay so um yeah we definitely tried for like a month straight um and every day we just prayed together about it like god if this is your will for us if you want us to have a family if you want us to have a child then we will um we're not gonna put any other thoughts on it we're not gonna put any other stress on it we don't want to get in over our heads about all of this stuff and i feel like before we did start trying i was always like oh like how do i even know if i'm going to have kids you know like society tells you like oh like once you start getting to the age of 30 or over 30, it's going to be hard. You're not going to be able to get pregnant. You're not, you're going to have high risk pregnancy or you've been on birth control for such a long time that you're probably not going to get pregnant. And I don't know. Um, so a lot of that stuff started getting into my head and I'm like, what if it doesn't even happen? You know, like what if, because I was on birth control for like eight years, what if I just like ruined my body and, um, yeah, so I ended up getting off of it, and I actually had a bad reaction getting off of it. It really messed up my body. I started getting cysts. Um, I've gotten, like, four cysts already that I had to get removed, to, like, in different places on my body. Um, and I got, like, really bad breakouts on my face. Like, literally, I got, like, they weren't even pimples or zits. Like, they were almost, like, big zits like boils almost on my face so that was a really bad thing after that um i started taking prenatal vitamins because i heard that prenatals are really good for you because even if you're not pregnant um but they said that you should take prenatals you know from from a young teenager up until like menopause uh because of all the vitamins that it has it's great for a woman of like all ages so 
because I was scared and because I thought like, oh, I wouldn't get pregnant because I've been on birth control for a long time and I've heard stories of women that can't get pregnant after that or it just takes them a long time. And um, so I started taking like prenatal vitamins. Um, I started just like wanting to like flush out my body basically. And then before we did start trying, um, I stopped drinking alcohol. I stopped drinking energy drinks. I stopped, you know, like eating bad food. Like I kind of just wanted to be like really clean. Like I didn't want to have problems with getting pregnant. So I'm assuming that really helped me as well. And um, obviously not drinking coffee, not having energy drinks, and not drinking alcohol has really helped my body too a lot. So I believe all of that has helped my body and definitely praying. I think God was probably like, okay, you guys are ready for a family. You guys are more than ready. You guys are just not wanting it because you guys are being selfish. And that was, I think it was me too. A lot of it, I feel like it was my fault. Uh, because I was selfish and I didn't want to like give up certain things. I didn't want to give up my free time. I didn't want to give up, you know, going out with my friends whenever I wanted to or going on vacations or, you know, just getting up and go. Like I, I didn't want to give that up. And um, it's definitely about time. <laughs> I've been selfish for a really long time and I've had my life my way for a really long time. And... Like I said, we just prayed about it and God gave us everything, all the signs that we had asked for. So, let's just fast forward. Um, we were trying for a month straight and then comes to find out that I missed my period. And you guys, I've never missed my period. Like everyone knows I'm always on my period even my sister she's like Summer literally you're always on your period like you're always telling me I'm like I know and I get the worst cramps I get the worst moods and everything right so I've never missed it and then I go on to my my flow app you know the flow app and it turns out I'm like two days late I'm like okay and then the next day I go on it and it's like you're three days late I'm like oh shoot I'm like dang this really worked <laughs> like yeah mm -hmm. this worked so I ended up telling Mike that I didn't get my period and that I've been late a couple days and I'm like but maybe you know maybe I'm stressing out or maybe it's just late for no reason and I feel like I just didn't really want to believe it yet. Like, I kind of wanted to just take the time and enjoy these moments right now. And this is why I've waited five days, almost six days, to, like, take a pregnancy test. Because I just want to enjoy, like, not knowing. I don't know. It's just crazy. Like, because if I am, like, like, wow. You know. Like, we're literally going to have a child. We're going to have a mini mic or a mini summer. And I'm really excited. So you guys, here I am. Sitting in the parking lot of Walgreens. I need to get up. I need to walk over there. And I need to buy a pregnancy test. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm excited. I am so excited. And I am so excited to tell Mike. Like Mike has been wanting this for like the longest time. I already know he's going to be a great dad, like, this is, yeah, this is God's plan, definitely. So if y'all don't know if y'all should have a kid or not, definitely pray about it, ask God to show you, and he will. I mean, he definitely showed us, and I feel like fine, like, I'm not worried, I'm not nervous, I'm just letting God's plan happen, and I am extremely excited especially when we do confirm with the test. I don't even know how I'm going to tell Mike. Like, how do I tell him? You guys, this is crazy. <laughs> it's just insane that, like, when you're young and dumb, you're just, like, praying to God, like, I hope I'm not pregnant. Like, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Like, no, like, take it away. I'm sorry. And then it's like you meet someone you meet your husband, you meet your person, you meet the love of your life, and you guys get married, and it's just, like, you just know, like, 
then everything changes and you end up praying to god to give you a child like you ask him for a family like this is my next generation these kids are going to be in my bloodline and when i think of it that way it's just like i am more than happy to have children like this is just one and i'm just like when's the next one you know <laughs> i'm going to be like my mom and have five kids i don't know but yeah i'm excited you guys oh my god okay so uh, thank you jesus okay i gotta go in there i'm strong i can do this God is great and he has definitely answered our prayers. This is the baby aisle. Okay. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. How do I do this? Okay, well, there's so many choices. Um, I'm just going to go with like the four test and the easiest to read. What do you guys think about this one? Four test, five days sooner. Well, I've already missed my period for five days, so whatever. Okay, this is it. This is it, you guys. Moment of truth. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god. I can't believe this. This is like unbelievable. Y'all, like, come on. I don't know.